I'm Bill. Welcome to Kota Tsvara. Let me show you how things work here. Hello again. Let's have a look how to properly use the grill. Always you will find some fine sand inside the grill. Please don't remove it as it protects the grill and also gives you the best result for the barbecue. To start the fire, a very good idea is to use the fire starting chimney. Take a piece of fire starter. And when it starts burning, you just fill in with coal of fire starter and you put it on top of it. And then you wait just for 10 minutes and then the coal will be ready to barbecue. So after the coal is hot, after 10 minutes, we take it and we put it inside the barbecue. Careful, this is really hot. You can put some wood chunks on the top, so to keep the fire running, and then to, to put the roast on it, so the fire will clean the fat and all the dirt. Leave it like this, when this wood has been burned, your grease is ready. Hello again, now we're going a little bit more difficult level. We are going to use the smokehouse. Smokehouse needs preparation. First of all, you need a few hours before start smoking to have proper wood soaked in a bucket of water. The wood should be wet enough to keep moist and when you put it into the smokehouse, not to make big flames because you don't want to grill the meat, you just want to smoke it. It's a process that will take approximately 5 to 8 hours, depends on the meat. So it needs really, really slow smoking. Otherwise, you are going to burn the smokehouse and you are going to have a grilled meat that you can do it in the barbecue. So important, have soaked proper wood inside the water and have with you also some dry wood. The process is simple, you have to keep the small house a constant amount of smoke all the time always you hear here the temperature the temperature should never go above 70 degrees otherwise the small house will be destroyed and also your meat will not gonna be smoked but but baked so control the temperature have proper amount of wood and good luck We are ready to smoke. First of all, we need to prepare real hot coal in the barbecue coming as we did for the barbecue. So it is ready. We just put it inside. Careful, everything is really hot here. So be really careful. As you see the coal now is burning there, the best is to add one small piece of dry wood so to have a stable uh, flame and then to add on top of it a piece of wet wood. You can have the door of the oven open completely because you need a small quantity of oxygen. If a lot of oxygen goes inside, it's going to burn fast and it's going to raise a lot of temperature. So just a small amount of oxygen and then it will start to create heat and smoke. So the smoke oven is running already 10 minutes. The temperature is 50 degrees. Believe me, it's the best temperature to start doing some really smoking. And as you can see, it's really a lot of smoke here. Try here to put some quantity of water inside. 
water will always regulate the temperature. The slower the temperature is regulated, it's more easier for you to achieve the best result and also not to destroy the small size. I will show you also how to prepare meat for smoking in some other video. It needs to spend like one day to prepare it and the next day to smoke it. But you will have smoked meat for long period. Now the most important part. How to start the stove. It's very easy. First of all, you have to take the air here, the entry of the air to be completely pulled out. You need one bigger piece of wood, dry wood, you put it here in the middle, and you need two fire starter tubes. Hide the one, wait a little bit. Here, the other cube will be next to it. This is your base. You start to build a small piece of wood. You start to build a fire like this. You don't need to pull a lot. This is enough. Right? You don't close completely. You leave the air to go from here and from under the stove. Always the mantle should be in this position. When the stove is burning, don't forget to put some water here. Metal bulbs, it will keep your place moist and more healthy. Because the stove makes the air a little bit dry. And now you just wait for this smaller wood to start burning. It will take like 3-4 minutes before you start building the fire. After the first quantity of wood is burned and it's more hot, we can start to put bigger pieces. Now, since it's burning, we can close from down the entry of the fresh air, so it will going to have a very smooth and stable flame. We close it. We always keep this in this position. And that's it. So, enjoy your stay at the cottage bar.